these extraordinary buildings, there are about 700 of them around Bewdley on the Worcestershire Shropshire border, are, however, certainly not associable with disease and despair the way that South American shanties are. This marvellous place seems to me to contain both the idea of rudimentary shelter and the idea of escape into verdure. It's shelter and playground in one. It's home. Unless you've been here, and this place is nothing if not hidden, you've probably seen nothing like it, at least not in Britain. Yet 50 or so years ago, such sites were commonplace. They were the unofficial settlements of their day. They were very specifically of their day, of the brief moment when good, efficient public transport coincided with a modicum of planning regulations. They simply couldn't be built today. Indeed, officious bureaucratic attempts to have these places demolished have been made with dreary regularity. But it's not only local authorities that have caused most such buildings to disappear. Cheap buildings are famously impermanent, and often the land that they stand on turns out to be worth more than the buildings themselves. These have survived against all the odds. And what a survival it is. My grandmother, or my uncles, built the one over there, Millcroft, for my grandmother at the end of 1914, 16, somewhere around that time. And then my mother had a homestead over there about 35 years ago. And we've been here about 30 years. My children have grown up here and come for holidays, Easter, or school holidays in August. It's safe, peaceful, and they love it. They, they still do, grown up, they still bring their families. And it's so peaceful and quiet and, well, it's unique, it's wonderful.